Hello, welcome to Microsoft Dynamics 365 Finance and Operation Tutorial Series. In this particular video, we will talk about AOT, which means Application Object Tree. So, without wasting time, let's start. First, we will understand what is AOT, and then from the project, I'll show you how you can see the AOT. So, now we'll understand what is AOT. In Microsoft Dynamics 365 Financial Operation, the application object tree AOT contains all the definition of the elements or we can say the objects that are used to build the application. For example, classes, forms, tables and so on. You can say that it is a hierarchical repository that stores all the application objects or the element such as a tables, form, classes, menus and the reports that makes up the D365 finance and operation solution. Also you can say the AOT can be thought as of the central hub for managing and organizing all the application object in Dynamics 365 finance and operation. Developer use the AOT to create and modify and maintain the application element in the system and it provides a user-friendly interface that allow developer to browse, search and access all the application objects. Now we'll go to the project and sh and I'll show you uh, the AOT. As you can see here, we have a project and if you want to uh, see the application object tree, then you have to click on the application explorer or you can use the shortcut key, control E, control plus C. So in application explorer, you will be able to see there is a node over here and you can see uh, in the top section it is you can see there is a AOT beneath it you can see different types of objects are there so data types are there data models code user interface analytics reports business process workflow level files resources configuration security references services and system documentation so and if you will expand this particular data types node then you will be able to see different types of um, data types are available here for example base enum base enum extensions extended data types extended data types extension so these are, these are some uh, elements related to data types if you we'll click on the data models then you will be able to see different types of elements like table table extension view and all these related items are there so if we'll uh, click over data types and if we'll click the base enum so all the base enums will be open over here these are standard objects in the later project when we'll create new elements that time you'll be able to see you'll be able to hear that uh, that these are the base items or uh, you can extend the base items and uh, you can work upon them so already the finance and operation uh, this application already built in project so if you have a specific requirement uh, you can edit or you can customize you can extend so you have to use these base types of elements in your project also if you want to see the extension by clicking on the base enum extension you can see for all these types of item you will be able to see some already created items over there you can utilize them in your project or you can extend to enhance your uh, application okay for example code is also there there you will be able to see different types of classes are there so maybe i will not open all these types all these elements one by one because it will take huge amount of time so if you already have a vm you can see what are the items are also present inside all these nodes so you can see resources and from there you can see also report section you can see different types of reports for example ssrs report uh, you can also integrate the power bi with the fins financial operation application so you can uh, take a look over here what type of items are available in the EOT and try to understand all this type of uh, which whatever is mentioned over here 
uh, in the item section or in the node you just read about it so when you when my suggestion will be when you are opening this data type section you can see the base enum so you just copy it and search it in the google and try to understand what is base enum in dynamics 60, 365 also you can uh, open it and also you can see uh, this type of elements base enums are there you just click over here you can see when you will click one particular object and you will be able to see some properties related to that and you can read all the properties which is there and you can read and search over the google and you can understand you will be able to understand what this particular base enum is actually doing and you will gather the knowledge and you should gather the knowledge uh, whatever the base elements are there in the eot this is how you will be able to understand all the concepts related to base enum and all the associated item which is present in the aot so i hope you understood the concept what is aot in microsoft dynamics application object tree contains all the definitions of the elements that are used to build the application to build the application okay so i hope you understood the concept of aot now we'll move to the next topic in the next video till then take care bye bye